COVID-19. Well, you've heard this a hundred thousand times in the last weeks, right? And as it seems, this whole work from home is going to be a more permanent thing than we actually were thinking about it in the beginning. So I was thinking, how do you make sure that Skype sessions or WebEx sessions that you do are a bit more appealing, right, to the viewer? You don't see the dirty socks in the background, or in my case, a picture and some kind of you know, wardrobe. So, so I did some research. What is actually possible? What can you do? And how do you get rid of this uh, without, you know, just hanging some cloth behind? Um, actually, I did need a cloth. It's the green screen technology. And it's actually quite effective and works very well. So the next couple of minutes, I would like to take you through the process. How you would do that with a PC. Up here, you can see how you would do that with a Mac. And let's get started. So the first thing you need is obviously a camera. Without a camera, no video. Well, obviously. You can take just the normal video camera you have in your in your computer if you have one. Um, I wouldn't recommend that because you know you, the laptop, the angle, it's always kind of not really great. If you're mobile, yeah, you need that. But in general, in the home office scenario we have right now, it's fine to have an external camera. And you can take any USB camera you have. Secondly, um, I would highly recommend you to have an external microphone. It really changes the way people hear you. Or you could just go with a headphone. Um, but I think that it doesn't really look good, is it? Um, ah, yeah. Before I forget, you got the camera, you got the microphone, you need the green screen actually so green cloth you put behind you um i made very good experience with several things i have uh, a cloth i hang on a on a, on a hanger on top of a year somewhere um i would go actually i go with this one let me show you and then you are now you have a great green screen a green cloth for your background and you can take it out one last thing before i forget that camera, microphone, background, light. Without light, things is, are going to be a bit bad and awkward. So I would recommend to have light if you turn it off. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't really get the effect, especially the light for, for getting the background behind you lighted. Don't forget that, because it gives the shadows no chance. And if you put the shadows, you see now I don't have the best lighting. I've got a lot of shadows behind me. And that makes the whole process um, yeah, not great. Now we have everything, right? We've got the equipment. Let's start. One more thing. We need the right software. And for the software, let's jump on your PC to have a look how we do that. So we know all the hardware setup. So let's look what applications we actually need. First, we're, um, we'll just open up some, you know, internet browser. So you can just type in here or click on this little icon here from, from the uh, Edge browser. So what we need is OBS. It's the Open Broadcaster System software. So we can directly click here on download in the Google search or you just click on the link down below. We select the right operating system, Windows in this case, and we download the installer. So this takes uh, some time. We can click on run so we have it directly started when the download is finished. Yes, uh, install it of course and start the installation process. You just click through, you don't have to really, you know, just click yes, 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 indeed I want to install all gray, it's fine. Once you've done that, um, you have a new icon on your desktop, uh, which is called OBS, obviously. So this OBS software will make sure that your WebEx or Teams OBS will filter out the green screen. And the next step we'll show you in a bit, will filter out that signal to your webcam uh, provider or webcam application like WebEx or Skype. So you finish it, you start the program, let it run a bit. And there we are, that was it. This now is the program that we will be working with. But before we go into configuring, we'll just jump one step back because we now need another software. It's just called OBS Virtual Camera. Again, click on the link provided 
and you will get here. So this one is the application. You just look where to download. Normally it's a button. Over here is the button. Just click it, wait, and just hit run. You run the setup process. There you go. You accept the agreement. Please read it. Yes, next. Yes, you want to do the same folder that you've installed OBS Studio, so yes. And you normally only need one virtual camera, so just click one, it should be enough. Next, install. So he says, oh, OBS Studio is still running, so you just go there, right click, close window, then click next. Oh, wonderful, everything works. So that's it, that was all. How does it work? So. We start the program, which, which we just installed, which is the OBS uh, software. You can't find it easily, so you just click either OBS here. So whatever you do, just open the program. It will open it up here. Now you have nothing in there. You can't see anything. So the thing what you need to do now is put a video input, video capture device, which is your actual camera that you have sitting here. So we'll just give it any name, doesn't matter. And here you see it. So I already have, see, I've got two cameras here. So you already have this capture device. The only thing you now need to do is, okay, that's it. Uh, I have to drag it to the right size. In this case, this size, that's about it. So now we have to get rid of the green, right? That's also no problem. You just click on the right on filters. Click on the right on filters on the just imported camera. You will see this here, you add a new filter. Add a new filter. Here, you do this with a plus sign and you go on chroma key, the second down. And now you see the magic happening. Boom, green screen is gone, that's it. So, it's now black because I don't have nothing behind me. So I could go and just Google some backgrounds. You just can go in here and then you just say, okay, what can I do? Take a nice background, make sure it's royalty free so you can actually use it. Um, it it really doesn't matter what you take. Let's take this one. Just, oh, it does. Wow. So, so the only thing we now have to do is make it the right size. There you go. It's just an example, right? Don't take me for that. And then we just drag it below the video source and boom, we're sitting in this nice artificial garden. Now, by the way, you see why lighting is so important. You see this grizzle here, this grizzle, the grizzle, that's because of the shadow. You see the shadow here? It's because there's currently not a great lighting in, in my setup. Uh, one more thing we need to do. Now we've got a video, wonderful. Um, I would lock the screen to get rid of these blue lines here so just click right lock preview boom so now you can't move anything around anymore perfect that's what we want additionally we need to have the virtual cam which should be now part of the effects that we have so we can go now into the camera again click on filters again to where we already were for the green screen click on add filter and then we have got a virtual cam so this virtual cam now is here, it just gives some buffer frame. Basically, you don't have to do anything. You just have to click start and close the thing. So what you have to do is select tools, virtual cam, make sure it's all clicked here and everything is set up and it's on start. Yes, so it should work now. We can now start a meeting. We just have to choose the right video camera. Turn it on and here you see, the green screen has been removed. We're in the Webex uh, meeting here right now. We can just say start the meeting and there we are. So everybody now sees this uh, little picture you see here down there and uh, you're basically done, that's it. Now you can just play around with it as much as you like. Let me just quick quit this one. So playing around means you can add multiple layers below here you can have several scenes let me know if you want to have a session around that you can put a logo up here you can do basically anything with this uh, so it's really creative really uh, gives you lots of possibilities so have fun if you have questions please just comment below um, and I'm trying to answer them as quickly as possible thank you very much and have a great day